Welcome to another video, and here we are once again with Samsung, specifically the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now, I like using these older devices just to demonstrate that they can keep up in 2025, and that is the fact with the S23 Ultra here. So in today's video, we're going to be demonstrating how to hide apps on the home as well as in the app screen. Now, there are two reasons I like doing this. First, if we hide the apps on the home and app screen, it makes it more work for me to use those apps that I'm trying to cut down on since there is an obstacle to getting into them. And what I mean is when we hide these apps, I'm forced to go into the Google Play Store and search for the app itself where I can then open it. Now, I'm not sure if there's another means to access a hidden app, but this creates a good enough barrier to cut down on those apps that I wanna use a little bit less. Second, now I haven't done this with the S23 Ultra really, and you can see here, because my app screen is pretty cluttered to be honest. Now, if we were to hide some of these applications, that would create a cleaner user interface. Now, the idea is to hide applications that you don't go into regularly. So I'll give you some ideas of apps that you may wanna hide. First, apps that may be activated by voice. You don't have to normally search for them and select them by touching them. You either activate them by voice or through a side key or a navigation button. An example would be Google Gemini. You can hide that application and still have access to it. Other ideas may be items that are accessed through a widget or a side panel. You can hide those applications from the home screen and the app screen because you can find them there or you can find them in a widget. So let's talk how to do this. So here I am on the home screen of the S23 Ultra and we want to go into the app screen first. So for me, I'm going to swipe up from the bottom of the display and that's going to bring me into the app screen. Then we're going to look for these three dots in the bottom right hand corner. We're going to tap on them and that's going to bring up a pop up menu. We're then going to look for the option settings and tap on that. We're then going to scroll down just a little bit until we see the option hide apps on home and app screen. Now this is going to refresh the page to a page where we can select the apps that we wish to hide and we're going to keep things simple. We're just going to select some of the apps that we see right away. So I'm going to select Blue Sky, then we'll select Assistant, then we'll select Bixby, and that'll be it for now, keeping things simple once again. And you'll see that once you have selected apps that you would like to hide, they're going to appear in this top row here. Now once you're done, you wanna tap Done to save the configuration, and that will hide those apps. Now again, I love doing this because it makes it more work for me to go into apps that I wanna use a little bit less, but it also creates a cleaner user interface. So let us know in the comments down below what you think and if you'll be doing this. That is it for today's content. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, Leon checking out.